My name is Matthew Walker. I am a professor of neuroscience and psychology at the University of California, Berkeley. And I am the author of the book, Why We Sleep. Should we actually be taking naps during the day? Well, we certainly know from evidence in my own sleep center and that of many other scientists that naps can give you benefits for both your brain and your body. But naps can actually be a double-edged sword because whilst we're awake during the day, we're building up sleepiness or sleep pressure so that when you try to fall asleep at night, you'll fall asleep quickly and then you'll stay asleep. And when we sleep, we actually release that sleepiness, almost like a valve on a pressure cooker so that we wake up the next morning feeling refreshed. So if you take a nap during the day, especially if you take it too late in the afternoon, you will actually release some of that sleepiness and it will make it that much more difficult to fall asleep and stay asleep soundly throughout the night. So the advice would be if you don't struggle with your sleep and you can nap regularly, then naps are just fine. But if you do find it difficult to fall asleep or stay asleep at night, then you should avoid naps and try and build up that healthy sleepiness in the evening. The ideal nap depends on what you actually want from that nap. Different stages of sleep actually give you different types of brain and body benefits. But if you want to avoid that grogginess that you can often have after a long sleep, then you should perhaps avoid naps that are longer than maybe 40 or 50 minutes in length. You should also try to avoid naps late in the afternoon so that you wake up at least after you finish the nap and still have enough time to build up that sleepiness, that sleep pressure, so that you can get to sleep in the evening.